Hello everybody, this is the Pickaxe of Diamonds, and welcome back to Tech It Survival. Now, in this episode, I've done a little bit more research on Mistcraft, so I'm thinking we could, you know, start some Mistcraft stuff. We're gonna need ink sacks to make ink vials, and we're also going to need some paper. But, first I think we'll go and check in the overworld, just to see if it's nighttime time and if we want to go out and slay any mobs. Oh, look at that, it is night time. Well, don't mind if I do. Let's see what we have in our inventory. Is this going to be enough, or... You know what? I'm going to bring my looting sword. Not going to forget this time. Sword. There we go. Looting three. Done. Let's go back into the overworld. And let's see if we can try to fight some endermen. Do we have arrows? Yes, we have 16. So, which way should we go? Let's go up through this secret passage, even though it's not secret because everybody knows about it. Okay. And we have made it. Let's test out this sword on our zombie. And it's dead. Looks like there's a creeper over there. We is that an arrow or a pig? I think it was a pig. So let's head over to our usual Enderman spot. And we can just go and kill some Endermen. Maybe. Let's see if we can kill this skeleton. Die. There we go. And where is that? Come on, I lost, I lost track of where I put the Enderman platform. Is it up here? Might be. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yay, another skeleton to deal with. Not really interested in the moment. Wait, is that a different kind of zombie? Looks weird. I know, I think it's just wearing chain armor and that's it. Not really anything special about it. Let's eat a pork chop. So I think I'm only going to use this Peridot sword, the one with the looting enchantment for Enderman, just because I want to get more Ender Pearls. That way I can get to the end more quickly. Come on, Enderman. Jeez, why you gotta not spawn? Seriously. There should be more. There we go. There's one right over there. Got a little bit of lag. Let's look at it. Oh, you mad? You mad, Enderman? There you go. Oh. And, looks like it's somewhere behind. Is it on top again? No, it's right here. Technically, I only have to use this sword for the final hit. Okay. How many ender pearls? Ooh, four. That's great. Four times a normal enderman. And once again, I'm getting that lag at regular intervals for some some reason. Don't really know why it's happening, but I can't prevent it. There's nothing I can do. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's just caused by loading an extreme amount of chunks or anything like that. It's just caused by something different, like maybe something that's constantly scanning. It's really annoying. And it looks like it's about to be daytime. But let's see if we can find any more mobs. Skeleton, a creeper, another creeper, and a spider. And no? Is that an Enderman? Oh, it teleported away. It's probably getting too close to day. Hold on. Ow. It's the lag. I mean, I would have seen that coming. Looks like there's still a zombie over there. How much FPS are ge I getting? 50, 48? Not that bad. Then it turns down to 22. 
die. And hmm, let's go kill this creeper. And this zombie, it's probably gonna die anyway. Now that it's daytime. Well, let's head back home. Looks like there's no more Endermen to be found, but hey, four from a single Enderman. That's pretty good. That looting three. Real useful. It's pretty hard to fight mobs with the lag, but once again, there's nothing I can do. Okay, it's officially daytime. And we can head back over to our house, or the pocket dimension. Wouldn't exactly call it a house. It's more or less a shelter built into a cave, but I still kind of like it. Really don't know what's going on with the lag, and I went to the wrong place. Let's go over to the actual place, which is this way. Man, it's really annoying. I, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know what's the cause of it. Let's go back through here. Is it still, like, doing it in here? Yes, it is. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like we have four ender pearls at least, and string, and an extra bow. How many extra bows do we have? Just one. Bones, rotten flesh, and not the arrows, just because we want to keep those. And let's start getting into Mistcraft stuff. Do we have any ink sacks or black stained saplings or whatever? Ink sacks? Nope. Looks like we are going to have to kill a squid or two. Let's go back into the overworld and see if we can find a squid. I'm not aware of any other source of ink sacks, so... Looks like there's one right down there. Oh, multiple. At least one right here. I could use looting on the squid. Just to get more ink sacks. Oh man, just two. Maybe that doesn't work on squids that well. Let's try this one. And two more. Really no difference between the swords. Let's see if we can find any more. I don't really see any squids. Or at least none close by. There's one. I could just punch it and then hit it with the sword. It seems like it would do the same thing. So we have five ink sacks, but that's not really that many. I wonder if you can repair this with Peridot in an anvil. Looks like there's no more squids that are close by. I think there's one over there. Might be worth it. Let's go kill it. And we're honing in on our target right here. This squid is about to die. Okay, was that nothing? Seriously? Okay. Alright, now we have to get more squids. More squids. One right here. Ooh, three of them. You know, I think that's probably enough ink sacks for now. Now we can start making the Mistcraft stuff. And we're also going to need a water bottle for one of them. I think we have an infinite water source in the pocket dimension. So we have eight ink sacks. Now we're going to need to make an ink vial, which requires water and ink from ink sacks. Here's the recipe. Black stained saplings or ink sacks in a water bottle. So that's pretty much all you need. So, do we have bottles? We have three water bottles, so we're good in those terms. And now we can probably just craft it straight off. Ink vial. Actually, the ink sacks would be good. 
Now we have an ink vial and we can get paper. We have one. We can make some more sugar cane. Oh, we've got plenty of that. There. Now we can go over to our Mistcraft area where we have a bookbinder. Oh, right. We also need leather. I forgot about that. But first of all, we will need the ink mixer which, where we put paper here and an ink vial here. Now we have a link panel and we're going to need that for the book binder and also a piece of leather leather there we go we have 31 actually kind of a lot but it's mostly from smelting the rotten flesh it's kind of inconvenient having to run over here now we put, put the link panel here and bam we have a descriptive book though I think there was a way to make just a page hold on just like a basic piece of paper is it just like a piece of paper here or, or no hold on I'm gonna have to look it up it looks like all you have to do is put the linking panel in put the leather in and just put an extra piece of paper in and it becomes a page don't know why this scrolling thing exists or whatever but now we have a descriptive book but we will also need a linking book to get out of whatever miscraft age we are going into, which appears to be age 327. I think it's random. So a linking book will be one piece of leather in here, and another... what's it called? Oh, I can't remember, but it's the thing you make in here. Looks like we've got our bottle back. Let's turn it into a water bottle from right here. And now we can craft it. We can actually probably craft it on our inventory. There we go, we have an ink vial. What if you can drink ink? No, you can't. I was just wondering. Wasn't there a Dr. Seuss book or something where something drank pink ink? I don't know. Anyway, we have an ink vial. And we can just put this in here. Or does it go in the other slot? Yes, it does. Link panel and a glass bottle. And we will also need leather. Not leafer, but leather. And we have a unlinked link book. And now we have a linking book for pocket dimension 326. I was going to do the overworld, but this will work too. So you always have to bring a linking book into a pocket dimension. Otherwise, you will not be able to get out without cheating. So we have a descriptive book. We might want to put it down on our book stand, because we can. Hmm. And now we can just... Guess we can fill this with cobblestone. No, didn't mean to shift click. Just kind of do that by default. And here we go. We can put the book stand here and the descriptive book here. And I think you just click in here. And that's all you have to do. Is this really called Pocket Dimension 326? Hold on. Minimap, it should probably be. Yep, 326. Okay. So, yeah, I'm trying to think if there should be anything that we need while going into the other dimension. Let's get a stack of cobblestone. We should probably bring more food. Not really sure what we need. Looks like you can't just search for food, which would be great, but no, it's, it's not a thing. You could get our carrots. Wait. Do we have any carrots? We have ten, but we could just collect some from the farm. Let's ju let's just bring all our meat. We have six steaks, seven cooked chicken, and two cooked pork chops. I want to actually bring another book stand, or just a chest for the book. Book stand. 
where is your recipe? Right here, we have a book stand. That's just for going into the dimension. And trying to think if there's anything else we should need, but that's probably it. We might, we might want to make a new chest plate. Just saying. Chest, we have a chain chest plate. You know what, let's bring that. And if our iron chest plate runs out, then we can just go back. Let's enter the age 327 for the first time. There we go. Okay, is this empty? Oh wait, cleared my inventory. Oh, never mind. It didn't. And looks like this is kind of an icy world. Let's dig out a safe place where we can put the, the linking book, book stand right here, and linking book in here. Still getting a little bit of lag in this. It seems kind of like the overworld, unless it's just like an infinite certain amount of biomes. Nice ice ocean here. Are there any ores? There's coal. Wonder if we should have brought our fortune pickaxe. And hey, looks like we've got another one of the dimensional doors structures. Not sure if I want to go in there, but hmm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I wonder how do maps work here? Would it be good to get a map? And I'm back to getting the lag at regular intervals again. Looks like we have an oil spring over there. Wonder if we should go exploring this dimension. Well, we might as well since we're here. Where's the sun? Looks like it's just rising. Oh, I almost forgot we should waypoint this. We should definitely waypoint this. Okay, let's put it here. Waypoints. Add. We're going to call it linking book. Okay. Hey, it's right here. Now let's just test to see if this works. And it brings us back here. Right where the book was created. Just going to test again to see if we can go back. Still getting the lag. I've yet to find a cause for that. You know, let's go exploring this place. We might as well. We also might as well take down the durability of our axe just because it's almost dead. This is just going to be like two blocks. Oh, never mind. There's one more. And another. Yeah, but that's it. Okay, we have one of these, which doesn't seem to have an entrance. There's some copper on the other side, unless... Hey, the entrance is on the other side. Okay. There's a lot of coal in this dimension. And let's see what's in this cave. It seems to be a cave. Might be a cave. Now it's just like a one block hole. Nice frozen ocean biome. Have we really already gone like 200 blocks away? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be many caves around here. There's a coal war and a creeper. There's a bunch of mobs over there which I'm not really sure I want to interact with, and by interact with I mean fight. And there's a lot of mobs. Hey, there's an enderman, although it's daytime, so I'm not sure how useful that would be. Hey, whoa, it's daytime. Cool yourselves. Ooh, a carrot. Actually, that would be more useful if it was a potato. 
Is it just me or was that zombie faster than a normal zombie? Maybe this is just like a dimension without caves or something. That would suck. Well, let's see if we can go across the ice. Again, still getting the unexplained lag. And looks like there's some sugar cane, so that could be useful. Although, it's not really useful. As I would have expected. I don't even know what I'm saying. And, man, there's like no caves wonder if there's like literally no caves or if we're just not running into any caves wish there was a way to check what the heck is this is that like resonant ender buckets and stuff wow i didn't think we you could find this naturally but man this is used to make like the best stuff in tech it i gotta waypoint this Waypoints, add, gonna make it like an, an ender color, like extra dark blue or whatever, let's, let's green, man I can't just get that color, no this is pretty close, I'm just gonna do it, resonant, Ender, just gonna call it that. Here we are. Now I'm just gonna pour out my water bucket just to test. Like, gonna put it right here. Yep, it's a resonant ender bucket, all right. I'm rich, well, sort of. Hmm, I'll put it back if I can. Gonna have to put some some blocks down. But man. We gotta collect this stuff. I mean, it's pretty useful. I mean, look at all the stuff you can make with Resident Ender Bucket. Hmm. Well, there's this. No. And this is how you get it, which is normally very expensive because you have to use Ender Pearls, but it's pretty much used to make the Endarium Blend Fluid Registry, I don't know what that is. There's the Endarium Blend and with that you can make Endarium Ingots and with those you can make lots of different stuff like the highest of tiered stuff in Tekkit. Shape Crafting Resonant Portable Tank, Resonant Energy Cell Tesseract Frame, Resonant Jetpack which is pretty awesome and maybe I underestimated the amount of stuff you can make with Endarium but n nonetheless it is pretty useful let's see what's the recipe for the jetpack again there's a resonant thruster and the redstone jetpack or you can use an invar chest plate yeah we gotta collect this stuff we have got to collect this stuff gotta come back here with lots and lots of buckets and collect it. I think if you touch it though, like I said, it teleports you hundreds of blocks away so we can't touch it physically. But hey, we are Endarium rich. Let's head back to our linking book. I want to see what nighttime is like in this dimension. Just if there's extra mobs or less mobs or what. Hmm, how do we want to arrange our inventory? Now, we can get water at home. I'm just going to grab a little bit of Endarium. Just from the resonant Ender Bucket place. Because this stuff is valuable. Okay. Now, let's head back to our linking book. You know what? Why? Why spend a long time heading back to our linking book when we can just cut to get there immediately? And we are here. 
the magic of editing. And now all we have to do is click right here, and we can go back to the pocket dimension. Don't really like the smoke particles though, but I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. So we have the resonant ender bucket, some wood, not really much stuff, but we do, we did have a little bit of profit. We could just keep exploring, although I do not think that there are any caves in there. Let's see, is it nighttime? Can we go out and try to kill some more mobs? Hmm. Well, let's check. And it looks like it's still, still daytime, but might be about to be nighttime unless it's just like rainy weather. Man, it's raining. I can't tell. Can't tell if it's night. So we're just gonna have to go back. Don't really think it lags as much in this dimension, though I'm not sure. Actually, I think it does. Never mind. So let's let's make the electric compressor. I don't know why I always search e electric. Like I'm I'm waiting for it to to be the electric part of it. Electric. Making sure to get it right this time. No, seriously, electric. Electric. There. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, we have the anvil, compressed steel, compressed bronze, and the advanced wafer. Let's see how much we have. Here it is. We have everything but the the anvil and the advanced wafer, which requires another diamond, which I'm not really sure if I want to use, but whatever. Diamond. There's eight of them. Okay, the advanced wafer is crafted using a bunch of stuff in the circuit fabricator. Advanced wafer right here. So we need a redstone repeater, redstone, and raw silicon. Let's make the redstone repeater. Luckily we have one, so that's pretty much all we need. We need redstone and silicon. There's probably something else I'm forgetting. Nope, that's it. Now we can make, what was it called? The advanced plating or whatever. <laughs> Man, this is taking kind of a long time. Don't remember if it took this long with the basic one. Now we have an advanced wafer. And there was one more thing we needed, which was an anvil. It's going to be expensive. Very expensive. How much iron do we have? We have two iron. Let's see if we can combine any of these right now. We can combine the helmet. That'll free up one more space. And I think that's pretty much it to be useful. And the anvil requires three blocks is 27 plus four is 31. So we're gonna need 29. And we can just put that in the redstone furnace and smelt it. What should we do while that's going? Hmm. Let's see what we can make with the the Endarium stuff. I I think there's also some shiny dust or whatever in it. Endarium. Or it wasn't Endarium. It was a resonant Ender bucket. I'm gonna have to take that out of my inventory. It requires pulverized shiny metal. And the recipe for that is another platinum ore. Or or we can pulverize ferrous ore. So it is going to be a little bit a little bit longer. Thought there was like a special shiny combined dust, but but no. Sadly no. Anyway, this should probably be almost done by now. There's eight left. This is taking longer than I expected. And come on, last five pieces of iron. Do your smelting. Do your smelting. 27, 28, got some experience, and now we have 31. Three blocks of iron. We have an anvil. 
Now we can make the electric compressor, which is right here. Everything, bam, electric compressor. It was expensive, no doubt, but we do have it, and that's what makes it worth it. Now we can get an extra conduit to connect to it. Hardened energy conduit is what we have. Is that giving it power? No. There's probably some specific way we have to place it. Like, on the left. Hold on, I'm gonna have to jump up. This is so unnecessarily complicated. Is that giving it power? Hey, it's full of power. 5.0 kilowatts and 120 volts. So basically with the electric compressor, it's twice as fast. You can do two at once and it runs on energy so you never need coal. So, let's see. The electric, the electric compressor. Whoops, I just showed you the recipe. I was going to search for the tier one rocket. Tier one rocket is right here. We still need the NASA workbench, but now we can get to work making the heavy-duty plates, which are compressed aluminum, aluminum ingots, compressed bronze, which are two Tinker's alloy ingots. Oh, and by the way, I did find out that this this is actually better, just because it gives you one per, as opposed to more than that. Like, there's this. This is only requiring one ore. But this, the bronze from Calclavia Core, doesn't work out. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much it. Other than that, it's, it's actually kind of complicated. Actually, gonna have to try to figure out how many heavy-duty plates we'll need, or how many compressed steel. Need two compressed steel for every plate, so that's twenty. 20 for this alone. The nose cone requires 6. The rocket fins requires... Okay, so it's 26 plus 4 times this. And these are 2 each. Man, this is so complicated. The rocket engine requires 8, so 26 plus 8 is 34. Mmm... 34 plus, how much is in one of these? This is 8 plus 2. These are 10 each. Man, these are, these are very complicated. 10 each. So we're going to need 74 compressed steel. That's a lot. That's a lot. So we could just get it to work right now. How do we make compressed steel again? Steel, right here. Two coal and iron. So, or two steel ingots. This compressed iron is... Yeah, this is... This is a lot. Gonna need at least two stacks of iron. Let's just take a stack and get this going. We're going to need it. Unless there was something else we could do where you you combine this with something else. Hold on, I, I'm gonna have to see. You know what? Let's smelt it. Let's smelt it. But, hmm. I was just about to cut the episode, so not sure if I want to do that in between episodes. It might mess something smelting up, although it's kind of unlikely. But anyway, I think I'll cut the episode right here for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and if you have, then you should probably leave a like. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.